Welcome back to my morning report. Our chart appraisals on Friday the 28th of August with me, which Pro Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Let's look at Euro dollar now, and we've started to see a little bit of support in Euro dollar, but just basically look at that volatility that we've seen in the last few days. 700 ticks of upside, then retraced by over uh, 500 ticks to the downside, and now we're starting to see some support coming in. So it's huge, huge volatility in this euro dollar in the last couple of weeks. Massive moves either way, and um, we're starting to potentially see this settle down a little bit, maybe now. Um, momentum indicators um, you've got these stochastics falling away, but I think. Sort of focusing more on the fact that the RSI is now beginning to settle around 50. MACD line is still sort of, I suppose, ish positive, but more neutral, I think. So I think it's sort of indicative of what we're seeing as more of a of this choppy um, outlook on Euro rather than any real sort of direction being given. And I think that's now what we're going to see because you've sort of retreated back towards the old support of these highs, which is 12.15. Um, which we saw back from early July and um, early August. 12.02 was the uh, was the low, but um, I'd say that that is your general support level now, sort of 12 figure to sort of 12.15, I, I'd say that's a pretty decent support now um, on this. And that sort of would prevent a move back towards the pivot band, um, 10.52, uh, sorry, 10.52, 12 figure. Sorry, 10.52, 11 figure, sorry, my mistake. But we have, uh, in, a, in a sort of near-term basis, we're seeing a little bit of support coming in. This is the hourly chart. Let's zoom out here. We can see that um, we are finding a bit of support. However, you haven't really seen anything really achieved on the um, on a basis that you'd sort of be um, sort of stopping this corrective move because you, you'd need to see a move above a, a rebound high. And that rebound high comes in at 13.64. So that is your... Uh, for the bulls, anyway, that would be your first port of call. If you see the euro moving through that 1364 level, then you're starting to see certainly the the confirmation of that support and um, suggestion that we've seen a low at that 12 figure area, which was yesterday's low. But for now, we're still in this sort of slightly correct. I suppose I, I say slightly corrective. I mean, it is corrective, uh, and until you see a break above 1364, it's not really. Uh, going to end that and uh, momentum indicators on the hourly chart obviously are improving near term but um, that rebound that we saw towards 60 60 is yet to be taken out so I'd say that um, you're still in a slightly sort of more negative mindset and um, if this rally for example starts to fall over maybe around the 13 figure mark which again 13 figure is a sort of support area because it was a, a slight low uh, a small low there a small sort of arguable reaction high. So around this sort of level, if we see consistently trading above with a 13 handle, then you could suggest that the outlook is beginning to turn around um, and um, on a more sort of more sort of decisive level. I mean, 50 ticks up on the day is great, but obviously we've had sort of 500 ticks of correction in the last um, in the last few days. So. In, in terms of that, it's not actually all that big, and you can see that reflecting in the chart. So you'd need to see more to suggest that this is a, a, a rally that's going to be a sustainable move. But certainly at the moment, the the, uh, the initial signs are good, but nothing majorly important has been achieved yet. So I wish you good luck in your trading on Euro today, and I'll speak to you later.